Hey, Mr. here, and in this video, we're going to have a look at what actually it is that determines whether or not something gets nerfed or is left alone by Supercell. Now, previously, we've had a lot of discussion, especially around the Queen Walks, is going back a little while, where a lot of the people on the forums were saying the Queen Walk was too OP. There were complaints and complaints and complaints, endless complaints about the Queen Walk being too overpowering. Now, some were saying it's Town Hall 8s that are complaining about getting hit by Town Hall 9s, and it was just never-ending complaining, and then suddenly, at some point, the Queen Walk was nerfed. Healers didn't heal the heroes as much, and so on and so forth. Now, we also had things with the Town Hall 11, uh, overpowering witches. Uh, we had videos of people spamming troops with miners with their face on their tab to just get automatic two stars and things like that as a sign. Now, people would sometimes blame the YouTubers for, for making comments that things were too powerful, and others were blaming people in the forums for complaining. And it's none of, it, it's actually none of that. So let's take it from Darian himself, the community manager, what it is that goes into nerfing. Now, there's a recent discussion about the bat nerf, and that is a lot, there was a lot of complaints. YouTubers were complaining it's too OP, it's ridiculous. Some forum people were saying it's too OP. Others were saying, no, leave it alone. So there was disagreement on the forums. Let's have a look at what Darian actually had to say about what it is Supercell does when they nerf something. So he's put this piece out here, and I'll read it out. And it says, our balance changes are not dictated by any group of players or subset of play styles. We primarily look at empirical data on attack success rates, army compositions and the impact certain combinations have on the game's meta. The group of players we look to for input are not just elite players, whatever that means. Our testers and group of players come from all walks of Clash of Clans, from far more alliance to casual players to, yes, even champion war league clans. Before yesterday's balance, the bat spell was still too good, so much that we were seeing data that showed that it was almost mandatory to carry bat spells in high levels in order for double chance at three stars in clan wars. There was very little to no variation in army compositions, and that is not healthy for the game. When the ability to 3-star goes up by 30%, that's just simply too dangerous for the meta. The balance changes implemented appears to have brought down the bat spell's utility to acceptable ranges. The change was also, the change was also increased in single Inferno, the single Inferno Tower's ability utility once again. Because of the bat spell's ubiquitous usage, a very large percentage of Inferno Towers were all set to multi. A spell should be good for some circumstances, not all of them. Now just a reminder that this was a spell and not a troop. So previously we've often had troop nerfs such as the witches, spam a whole heap of witches, mass witches, 14 witches, 20 witches. We had the spamming of Valkyries, we've had the spamming of miners. If you go back far enough, you had mass hog attacks where it was just like dump hogs and it didn't matter. Heal spells and everything was good. So we saw the double damage of large bombs on hogs as a thing that came out of that sort of era. Then we had the balloons where uh, you would send in two balloons at an archer tower, for example. The archer would shoot the first balloon. The second balloon would therefore be protected by the first balloon would get to the Archer Tower, do one bomb drop, get shot down by the Archer Tower, and as it crashed down, it would take out the Archer Tower. Well, Supercell changed that, so that didn't happen, which meant if you wanted to take an Archer Tower out with balloons, now you had to use three balloons. So all of these little changes Supercell has always been doing. So the sweepers came in because everyone was just doing Lalo attacks and nothing else. This is why you have the sweepers come in, 
Everyone's doing Lalo attacks. It stops the Lalo. We remove the double damage from the hogs to increase people to do hog attacks again and so on and so forth. So it's a never ending game. The balance changes. Supercell has access to all the data so they can see how many three stars are getting done and by what troops in general the three stars are getting done. So with the new meta that came after the bat spell, it was pretty obvious. It was either going to be drag bat of some description, normal dragons or electro dragons with seven to nine bat spells coming in, or it was going to be mass lava hounds, such as four lava hounds or five lava hounds and a bunch of balloons and some bat spells and just the base falls. So the massive use of bat spells was just being detrimental to the game. Supercell has all the data. You can see it's not dictated by a group of players or a subset of play styles. So we're not just saying, okay, that the wall crowd is dictating it or the farming crowd is dictating it or a bunch of these players over here are complaining about it. It's not being dictated by them. We primarily look at empirical data. Now, a lot of farm type people would not have used the bat spell at all. But the bat spell gets nerfed and they can't use it like it could be now. Why? Because of the empirical data. So there you have it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak, that the balance changes are due to data that Supercell has access to that the rest of us do not have access to. So obviously the staff have, have said often, many, many, many times, the feedback or the, the number of people who play, the number of people in the forums is a very small, minute number compared to everything that they look at. And so just a few people complaining on the forums or a few YouTubers who say, I think this is OP, listen to me because I have 50 or 100 or 200,000 subscribers. That doesn't mean anything. The data is what means everything. So straight from the horse's mouth, no one can dispute that anymore unless you would then start calling Supercell liars. And well, why would you do that? If they know where their game is played, if they can have a map on the wall showing every country their game is played at, I'm pretty sure they can have data to tell them which troops are used the most, which aren't, what troops are used, what are the three star results, and so on and so forth. It's all in the data and it all goes to their servers. They have access to it. So that is that. Let's put that to bed and let's have a question of the day. Let's lighten the mood a little bit in the sadness of the bat spell that once was and any other future troops that get nerfed for the same reason. So janitors or cleaners in a lot of places, they have cupboards or closets or little rooms or whatever often scattered throughout the place where you'll often find a lot of the things that they use. So there might be a couple of mop buckets. There might be a whole packet of hand towels, paper towels, all sorts of goodies like that, spray and white bottles and cleaning cloths and things like that. So what, so taking that into account, what did the cleaner say when he was in his closet, he was in his cupboard, I guess you could say, and someone was walking out and he just jumped open and he flung open the door as they were walking past. What did he say? He said, supplies! <laughs> because you have cleaning supplies in the cleaner's cupboard. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. Do share this please with your clan mates. So everyone is on the ball of how the balance changes are actually done and so we can just end this speculation about war people or farming people or this group or that group being the ones who determine how troops are nerfed or not nerfed please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video